I'm sitting here in the chipping channel on the approach to Pettix Island. I'm gonna head over here and do a little exploring. But I think it's time to get out of uh, the boat traffic. So let's do it. Pettix Island is one of the largest islands in the harbor. This is the very top of it. It runs all the way down this way through that hump and actually a little bit beyond. Those of you who've seen previous videos of mine, these are drumlins attached by a tombolo right here, making for one big island. Given it enough time, a few of the other islands in Boston Harbor will probably do the same thing. You know, in a few thousand years or so. In the meantime, we're going to land at the old harbor area here. Today it's a visitor center, that building there. That was the guardhouse for the army back in the day. This was a military island. So we're going to take a look and see what there is to see. Welcome to Pettix Island. Take a little walking tour. This island dates back to as early as 1634 in the records, used for agricultural purposes in those days, farming, fishing. This is the tip of Hull, so this is actually the mainland here. The mainland wraps around all the way around to here, but we are actually on, on an island here. Pettix Island pops up again in the history books in 1776, specifically in March. Uh, around March 17th, the British soldiers under General Howe evacuated Boston. It was known as the evacuation of Boston after the siege of Boston. And 11,000 British subjects got onto ships, about 130 ships. Can you imagine? All set sail, came right out of the harbor and left. 600 colonial militiamen, rebels really against the British, were stationed here to make sure that if they ever came back, they'd be ready for them. That's the role Paddox Island had in the American Revolutionary War. Interestingly, March 17th, which is also St. Patrick's Day in Boston, that has a heavily Irish background celebrates evacuation day on the 17th so it can be a state holiday evacuation day and st patrick's day just happen to fall at the same time so it's a very clever way to celebrate st patrick's day without it actually interfering with having a religious holiday recognized by the state so this is looking back towards hull Bumpkin Island, and out there, just beyond, that's George's Island with Fort Warren on it. That would be built in 1850, a huge fortress that would protect, again, the worry was British ships were coming back. Right here, these are the barracks. These were built in the early 20th century. You would have the enlisted soldiers on this side and up on this ridge, their officers' homes. Most of them are gone now. As late as the 1940s, this was used 
to house Italian prisoners of war. This base was known as Fort Andrew. Today, some of it has been rehabilitated as the welcome center for boats coming in when the island is open. It is closed this summer for tourism. There is a museum. This island was also used, and some of you may recognize this, for the movie Shutter Island with uh, DiCaprio. This was a Martin Scorsese film. A lot of these buildings actually exist in the movie and they superimposed mountains in the background. Here are some of the remaining structures. It's actually still in pretty good shape considering It looks like maybe one of the officers' houses up there still in existence. This was the post exchange and gymnasium. Here, bakery. Oh, I bet that smelled good back in the day. These paths here, they lead to campgrounds up on top of the Drumlin. On Pedix Island, they put up yurts that can be used if you book ahead of time. These are the yurts that the Parks Department has put in. It's a really nice feature. Unfortunately, COVID seems to be preventing any use of these islands this year. Hopefully by next year they'll be back in business. But this is a great place to take the family. Here's what they look like inside. Bunk beds. Oh, look at that. It's got a table, another bunk bed, some lights. So there's electricity here. Oh, this is definitely worth checking out when they're back in business. This is the very top of Pedix Island. There's quite a drop down to the water from here. In the distance over there, that's Fort Warren on George's Island. That's the tip of Hull, that's the mainland. And out there, that big hump, that's Great Brewster Island. And then the smaller Brewsters near it, and then beyond it, Calf and Green. Boston is right up here to the left. And this section here from the mainland to Pedex, Hull Gut as they call it, very narrow. And submarine nets were put in here. Basically, chains run across in case any U-boats came in, tried to come into the harbor. It's 
That great old door. I think this is where they had gun emplacements. But it's all so overgrown now. Yeah, right up here. So there's a lookout station right here, a fire control maybe. So all this is overgrown. This would have had a view straight out into the harbor. All right, let's see what else there is. Here's one of the old batteries. So right on this spot here would have been the gun. And it would have shot straight up, obviously calculating an angle, and shoot out as far as eight miles. That was turn of the century technology. It's already outdated by the time the 40s come along. But that must have made a lot of noise. Here's a road of some kind that clearly went somewhere, but it drops off pretty precariously. Nevertheless, it's a fantastic view. There's the city. I was reading up on the Italian prisoners of war. It was interesting. They were pretty much left to guard themselves for the most part. GIs, of course, would check in on them. They had a, an old barracks building here that they used. They would go to the mainland something like five days a week to do work on projects in the city and even were able to date women that lived in the North End. There was even one that actually ended up marrying a woman that he met here in Boston. So if you were an Italian soldier picked up in North Africa and what, 42, and you ended up here, probably best of all possible worlds for you. Coming up on... Uh, we're coming up on Officer's Row here. At least what's left of it. These are foundations of long gone houses. Probably would have stretched from here to here. These still exist and then out that way there would have been more of them. So this is what remains. So here's a great placard here. It shows what they used to look like. And there's the visitor center where we came in. This is the chapel. What's interesting about this structure is that this is actually among the very first of this type of chapel built. It was built in 1941, shortly before the outbreak of World War II. And another 500 of these would be built on bases during the war. It's interfaith, so you'd have services for Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, etc. On this island, the Italians, uh, the prisoners of war had their services here. Families of the soldiers on base would have their services. So this would have been a fairly common sight on military bases. And interestingly, although it's among the very, very first of the ones built, it seems to be one of the very, very last in existence. So, interesting structure to look at. One of the nice things here is this apple tree right here. It seems to be 
coming into season. So before we leave, I'm gonna have a little snack. And we're gonna have to cut this trip short, not see the rest of the island yet, because there's some weather moving in. And I've got a two mile hard paddle through the shipping lanes to do. But I'm gonna be back and we're gonna do part two. As I was mentioning before, the weather started to turn within 40 minutes. It's pretty uh, cloudy. That's the last of the sun out there. Rain front coming in from there. So I think this last little bit is going to be wet. Well, it's fall in New England and the weather turns on a dime. 40 minutes ago it was sunny and bright. That's the last vestiges over there. And it's already raining now. Temperatures dropped. So that's why I got off at Pedic so quickly. I am going to do a part two. But now I got to get home before I get soaked. In the meantime, if you like this content, please press like, please subscribe. Please tell your friends, etc., etc. And I'll see you next time when we do part two of our Pedix Island exploration. See you then.